Hello and welcome to our Sunday stream here at Attic Door Media. I'm Cece and tonight I'm going to be playing Cozy Grove again. And we're just going to have like a nice chill time. I played this for the first time on my last stream and um, I really liked the style of it. Um, I liked that it was really chill. Um, and I like that all of the, uh, guests on the island are bears. Um, I guess except for the, the store, which is a fox. But basically all the new friends we're going to make on this island are, are bears to some degree. Oh. Punctuality. I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh, my bird wants a donut. I don't have a donut for you. Feed cooked food, then harvest its essence. Do I have cooked food? I do have cooked food. Let's talk to our bear friend. Oh. Harvest rushes. Wait, these guys are talking about mushrooms. That's interesting. But we ordered food specially for the birds, so let's talk to our friend about this. So, camper, back again. Sip. Listen, out here your most important resource won't be your eagle eyes. The thing that will help you most in the phantom wild is patience. Sip. So, today I'm listening for chickadees. There used to be one in this birdhouse here, but he sang his last dee 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 ages ago. Maybe if you're patient like me, you can find this house a new home. I've received a birdhouse. So all of these bears are actually spirits that live on the island. And I am helping them resolve their final requests. Interesting. Oh, it's, I see it's decoration. Who was the one that ordered the meal for me? Looks like everybody's got stuff. Okay, I'll talk to everyone and then I'll feed the bird. I want to check my mailbox. There we go. Cheerio, Scouty Wowdy. I'm surprised I haven't heard back. Is everything okay? You got your flame guide, right? Your aunts told me old flamey has been in your family since before the last big purge. What is that? <laughs> keep you keep feeding flamey and they'll have you they'll help you locate all the restless souls lost in the dark corners of that island. Scoutmaster Blake. And I he gave me a one common log cabin accessorized end table. I'll get the present. Okay take the liberty of ordering you some food for your young placid bird and their bagels so I'm gonna go give this bird a bagel let's see see when I got here you stopped asking for it though bagel Toasted over a campfire, the blackened dishes are prized by experienced scouts. Okay, so now we're going to its space bar to feed it. It's very cute. Oh, it's happy! <gasps> it's happy! And now I'm gonna harvest? <gasps> by petting it and then it gave me a, a, a like a bird essence the ephemeral essence of a happy bird used in cooking spirit animal food also beneficial for crafting decorations okay we've taken care of the bird let's see what else we can do to help the spirits what are these imps doing why are they thinking about mushrooms is it because they see mushrooms? Are they just talking to each other? Okay. I got 
ore and money and skipping stones oh maybe I could get that with my fishing rod No. Doesn't look like it goes quite far enough. Or is it is it making it there? Is it getting closer? That other bear did just tell me that patience was important. Oh, look at that. And then is it gonna is it just gonna float into its mouth? Is it gonna snap around the Hmm. How do I, how do I gib? This is a very slow process. I'm sure some bear will tell me <laughs> what to do with this thing. area to light. Why are you thinking about mushrooms? I like the music in this game. It's very relaxing. We're in a new badge, rock and roll beginner. forest bear. We have to talk to the post office bear because we just picked up our mail. We didn't actually pick up his quest. He's still very ghostly. Ah, badges. Play. Oh, it's because I play on multiple days. Okay. So we're going to collect that. I got 10 quartz gemstones. And then I also got this one. Rock and roll beginner. Harvest five rocks. And I got 200 coins. So that's neat. help you with something. Hey there, Postal Pal. Beautiful day as always. Got a little bit of non-standard mission for you today. My girl Ophi took my earmuffs on her walk yesterday. She didn't bring them back. Think you'd track them down for me? Earmuffs. It was near a folding chair. Have you looked at any stick piles? Okay. We're gonna try to find a pile of sticks near a folding chair. I know there's a folding chair around here somewhere. But I don't precisely remember exactly where oh here's a folding chair we should dig here oh that's the pile of sticks there they are earmuffs oh it's a tough mound so i need a special shovel for that one hey you found them I just love my lucky earmuffs. What a better way to block out the screams coming from the unopened mail, right? Oh! He's gone all... He's no longer ghostly. I got a potted poppy. Street lamp. Oh, and he's activating his region. That's cool. We're also missing the mail sorting zone. That's new. That changed. Hey there, Stamp Champ. I'm glad you stopped by. 
Have you noticed any imps running around with a bubble over their head? I have, actually, and they were thinking of mushrooms. I applaud your keen observation. Those are hungry imps. They are crying out for something to eat, but imps are very picky. They'll only eat the specific item they're craving. If you feed it to them, they'll happily give you something in return. I mentioned this because one of those hungry imps made off with a letter of mine. I was hoping you'd get it back for me. So, would you like me to tell you the secret of feeding a hungry imp? Yes, please. Hungry imps are craving a particular item to eat. They'll show you what they crave with a bubble over their head. Don't just walk up to a hungry imp. They will get scared and vanish. Keep your distance so the imp is comfortable. You'll need to throw the item they crave to them. Hold the item in your hand and drag it back to aim. Then release it to throw. So it's like the fishing rod. If the item lands near the imp, they should eat it. If you miss, don't worry. You can pick up the item and try again. After the hungry imp eats the item, they'll show their happiness with a heart. You can tap the happy imp to approach, and they'll give you something as a thanks. Come back when you got my letter back from the hungry imp. Okay. Looks like he's got a little house here now. Okay, they want mushrooms, but I don't know if I have any. I think I might have cooked all my mushrooms. I'm going to have to check my inventory. Hello, spirit friend. You're just the fauna I wanted to see. Thanks, Francesca. One of my favorite trees has gone missing. My first impulse was, how do you lose a tree? Like, they don't really move, usually. Hey! <laughs> hey, Mary! <laughs> How's it going? It is hard to lose a tree. But it is terrible that the tree is missing. I am sorry that Francesca's missing her friend. I sound super low today. That's weird, because my volume is all the way up. But last time this happened, I switched my mic. So let's try that. Yeah, I, I guess I mean, how's it going like since the last time I saw you, <laughs> which was like a few hours ago. Aw, that's good. He's a Finn is a good boy. Oh yeah, does he like the movements of the game? I'm gonna go with that's terrible because it's well, you know what? I'm gonna ask. I'd like to find more information about these trees. Do they move? The poor thing is always getting lost. It's one of my special trees. Small, square shaped, rootless, lots of white leaves inside. If you come across a tree matching that description, be sure to send it my way. Isn't that like Kafka? A small, square-shaped, rootless tree with white leaves inside? I, I don't know. I don't know what Francesca's talking about, but I guess I'll look. I think he was responding to voices, honestly. Aw, well, that's also cute. Shovel's not good enough for that dirt mound. And I hope I come across some mushrooms. Let's see what our tape measure bear would like. So, Maker Buddy, have you been using that crafting bench I loaned you? Um, I did. I did use it. Yeah. 
Happy to hear it. Of course, you'll need plenty of raw materials to make more things. So I'm going to leave you with one more tool. It's a little advanced for a kid your age. It requires some metalworking. Find me some iron ore and some hardwood and I can get started. All right, well, I have all this stuff already, so I'm just gonna turn it in. Perfect, now just give me that for a quick smelt. And now you have your very own machete. <laughs> mm. I hope it's okay giving you something so sharp and half your size. It's not okay, is it? Well, too late now. Enjoy your chopping powers. <laughs> I know you're a trained scout, but please be careful with the sharp side, okay? The last thing I need is another ghost on my conscience. Another one? I like this bear because he gives me dangerous weapons. <laughs> and he's activated his environment, and there's more coins for me. Ah, my inventory is very full. I should head back to Flamey and drop off some things. Oh, there's a raccoon. There's a raccoon with lots of stuff. And the raccoon does not seem like a ghost. Let me talk to him. Yeah, I know, right? Another? Another? <laughs> All right, let's put some of this stuff in storage. Do I have a record? Oh, I do. I have 24 mushrooms. I don't need more mushrooms. I'm good. I'm just going to put all the decor in here. Ah, that's good. Those will stack. What is this? Oh, iron. Okay, it looks like a little bird head. I got another light and some flowers. I'm not quite ready to decorate, so we'll put those in here for now. What's this? Oh, this is my machete. I'm gonna talk to the raccoon. I'm very curious. Miss Carus? Oh, is is it that time again? It feels like I laid to rest only minutes ago. Has a whole year really passed by already? Gasp, wait a minute, is that Kit I spy over there? I know he wasn't here on Cozy Grove the last time I visited. Oh wait, you're a spirit scout. That explains things. Hello, little soul tender. Thank you for making my latest visit to this island. Interesting. I guess welcome back. I must say, it pleases me to be able to share my festivities with a living soul. It's a wooden machete too, I know, right? Does that mean he had to like sharpen and polish it? The ghosts of Cozy Grove deserve joy as much as anyone, but they tend to forget themselves. With you around, perhaps we can have a memorable festival for a change. Ooh, it is so exciting to imagine. Please, please don't be shy. Take a look at what I have to offer. I think this might be a holiday raccoon. I think this is a Halloween event. The spirits of the time would be delighted to see you dressed up for All Hallows Eve. Okay, so I, I'll get clothes. It was so dull before you arrived, Howard. You don't seem to have grown at all. Oh, silly me, I forgot your friend doesn't age in the usual way. Spirit counts. Such an eclectic breed, how fun you are. You were pretty fun yourself, I think. I've worked hard to maintain my sunny disposition over the centuries. A long time ago, I traded my mortality for, uh, let's call it the privilege of celebrating life. I forfeited my right to live normally, have a family, and die contentedly. And in exchange, I'm permitted to observe and celebrate the struggles of all living things. For however long those struggles exist. It was a difficult choice, and I still do not know if I chose well. But enough reminiscing, a new holiday is upon us, so this raccoon is not, strictly speaking, a ghost. Let's celebrate it together, yeah? Okay, let's craft some- oh! I have special- Is- it oh! I have special Halloween lanterns. Aw, that's cute. Ooh, use it to summon spooky critters to Cozy Chrome. How much are all these things? Rare? Lamp. Fall 
Fall Festival red, but not, it's not spooky decor. Watch you soon will have its revenge. Rarer lamps cast light over a wider area. That's interesting. Okay. I can't decide if I want the pink one or the orange one. I think I'll get the orange one. But I think I have to collect the things to craft. Like, I have to craft it right here. I can't buy the recipe. So I'll need to locate pumpkins from somewhere. It's Halloween, dear scout. Will you be a monster, a hero, an object, a beast? Ooh, would you let me pick for you? I'll pretend I'm you for a moment. Okay. So I need to buy this thing. Rise, rise from your shallow grave, you gorgeously reconstituted bone babe. I can part with the skeleton costume for 600 gold coins. How's that sound? Sounds great. Take my money. Yeah, let's wear it now. Is that... What else did I have to do? I guess... I'm 50% done. Can I turn it in? It's the best holiday. We celebrated for days here at Cozy Grove. Let me help you get in the swing of things, little mortal. this. <gasps> Fat cat hood, that's cute. I will ignore you until this patch of sunlight disappears. Ooh, creepy skull mask. Demon cat costume. You feel sudden hatred for everything. Okay. I'm happy with my skeleton. Let's feed... Let's look at my inventory. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, first of all, is we're gonna feed the imps some mushrooms. Oh, I scared them. Okay, so we're gonna go here, we're gonna grab the mushrooms, then we're gonna throw the mushrooms at the imps. Wow, that did not throw far. Let's try this. <laughs> okay. We're not super great at this. It's a good thing I have a lot of mushrooms. Let's try this. Oh, that, that worked. And let's try another one. Okay, now I can approach. And he left behind the gifts, one of which is the letter, and I got 10 candy corn. I got joyous imp essence from this one. Interesting. Okay. I thought that would remove things, but it actually mostly added things. <laughs> to my inventory, we're gonna put Spirit Imp Essence and Joyous Imp Essence. Donate to collections for a reward. Okay, we're gonna give these to, um, to the uh, ship captain. Let's give Flamey a log. Yum! Only three more logs before I'm full. I sense at least three logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Okay. So we're gonna head down here. We're gonna turn in our essences to the shop. I want to donate something to the collection. This? 
What a lovely Joyce in Petsmith. Shall we add it to the collection? Sounds great. Here you go. I'll archive this right away. It's a crafting material. And I get a crafting recipe. Interesting. Interesting. And then we'll donate this. Happy bird essence crafting recipe. And then we'll donate this. Also a recipe. Okay, I'm gonna learn my recipes. also donate iron I got 10 quartz gemstones I can donate a bagel I might get a recipe for a bagel that might be interesting to do what a lovely bagel <laughs> sounds great oh it's under food bread And I got the recipe. Oh, I got a different recipe. I got a lot of recipes. <laughs> 10 quartz gemstones. Okay. Let's learn the recipes. For mole taco. And... Moon pie. Happy rodent essence. Toasted nut flour. Interesting. I wonder if each pet has a preferred food. Okay. Now for the quest. Can I help you with something? Did you know that ghosts can eat, young sailor? Oh yes, the hunger of the living is nothing compared to my monstrous appetite, squawk. Glad you think so. This is my roundabout way of asking you for a favor. I have an awful craving for a three-course meal. Fish for the entree, fish for the main, and finally, fish for dessert. Unfortunately, not any fish will do. My appetite is tragically particular. I'll just need three fish that are uncommon or better. You do know how to check a fish's rarity, don't you? Don't worry, it's simple enough. Just click on the fish in your inventory. Now off you go. Catch my courses. Catch me my courses on the double. Okay, uncommon fish. I do have a couple of uncommon fish stashed away somewhere, unless I turn them all into charcoal, which is possible. Materialist beginner, collect unique materials. I like that patch. Ah, 200 old coins. Very nice, very nice. turned all of my fish into uh, charcoal. I'm gonna put the bagel away. And then I guess I'm going
going fishing. Craft a rare spooky jack-o'-lantern. Unknown item ID random with tags Critter Festival Fall. This is obviously a bug. And I need 15 charged fish bones, so I actually need to do a lot of um, fishing. We're also still looking for Kafka, a small square shaped rootless tree with white leaves inside. Let's deliver our letter. And we might get a log for Flamey. I'm also going to keep an eye out for where it would be good to put some lanterns. I think we could connect these two places. I'm sure there's a reason I have so many sweet potatoes. <laughs> I will keep my eyes open for tree friend. Thank you. I assume he's in one of the forested regions. Putting some lamps around might help, actually. Hey, you found my letter. I bet that hungry imp was pleased you fed them. Did it give you anything else in return? An imp essence. You must have made them very happy if they dropped an essence. Hungry imps often drop essence in appreciation. It's handy for crafting food and other useful things. Well, I hope that was helpful. Talk to you later. And there's my logs. Oh, we've got a full heart. That's nice, the full heart on the postal bear. And his his situation is back, his little package thingy. It must have been here before and I just didn't notice it. Okay. Did it say? It did say what the tree was near, which is a bit... Frustrating. Oh, there's a fish. Let's catch it. A scout friend raised your table crafting recipe. <laughs> this was not a fish. I feel misled. <laughs> Oh, I've slashed this with a machete. And I got two mixed greens. Interesting. That's a potato. What does Flamey want? Here's a log for you. Delicious! Only two more logs before I'm full. Hey, Alethea. How's it going? Welcome. Sometimes I get not not fish in Animal Crossing and I also feel betrayed. Yeah. <laughs> Only because it like is very clearly an icon of a fish, like a silhouette of a fish. <laughs> and then I get something that's not fish shaped at all. But I might as well leave some of this stuff in my inventory because I'm going to keep collecting it. I'm going to put this away, though. I have 176 quartz gemstones, so I should probably look into making something out of them. Um, let's get some of these lamps. This is a lamp. This is a lamp. I 
we can put this tree somewhere too. Legendary epic free tree lamp, natural decor. Dislikes bustling decor. I no longer feel confident. I don't think I have the decor that this tree likes. <laughs> Why is the rock or tire fighting me? Um. Oh, I see. When you pick up a rock or a tire, why is it fighting you? Yes, at least I did get something useful. Which was a recipe. Rustic. Rustic. Wild. Okay. Oh! No. It likes natural, not wild. See, this, okay, this potted poppy dislikes rustic decor, so it likes cozy decor. <laughs> the trees in this game have opinions. Okay, I believe my bird likes rustic decor. Yeah. <gasps> I can pet it. We're petting it. Yes! So we're going to put this table over here. Oh, the bird likes it. <gasps> he gave me essence. We're going to put the essence in storage with my other essence. Okay. And then, okay, we have a lamp. Do I have, oh, do I have more things I could decorate and maybe get the bird up to three hearts? No, these aren't decorations. These are things with opinions. Plants that have opinions. Oh, maybe this is, what is this? This object is important to someone, but they may not, may not be ready to receive it yet. Okay, so we'll hold on to it. Okay, what's this lamp? This lamp is rustic, but we already have a lamp here. This lamp is bustling, so I shouldn't put it near the apple tree. The bird doesn't particularly like it either. Okay, so we're gonna take this rustic lamp and maybe we'll put it like over here. We want it to be in the light and we want it to extend the light. Does not look like I placed it close enough to make a difference to the bird. Okay, let's pick it up. I don't know if I'm getting. I don't know if I. Oh, this is a node of some kind, right? What is this? Oh, do you have, like, decor opinions? Oh, I was just thinking, this island is very haunted. Glad a spirit scout like yourself showed up. Okay. You just... Okay, they don't have opinions. But they do have hugs. Let's do hugs. Yay! I love a game with a hug mechanic. Okay, so what I want to do is connect this area with the with the uh, postal area. Okay, so this is the bustling one. We'll put this right here. And then we're going to take the other lamp and 
try to extend our light by putting it here. But I don't think, I don't think this is doing a lot of good. I think I'm actually better off putting the lights near the fire because there's like collectibles there. So let's do it over here because there's a big forest here. So there's more likely something is going to spawn. Which one is this? Okay, this one's bustling. rustic one closer to the bird although it won't be close enough to matter maybe we try this okay it doesn't look like any of these are collectible either but at least we have like a nice space around our fireplace. We'll focus on doing that first. It's gonna take a lot of lamps to like get all the way over here, so. We should try, we'll probably try crafting some things though. just thinking, I have to hand it to you humans, you are pretty good with woodworking on the whole. You have those wonderfully soft, precise, fleshy appendages. Working a lathe with a claw can be challenging, but I make do. Alright, what's this? Ooh, scout fundraiser table, an essential item for spirit scout campsites. I need more bird essence before I can build that. I just now remembered I forgot to put a cute pic of Susie in the Discord. Don't worry, I fixed it. Yay! More cute pics of Susie. Oh! These fence posts are considered rustic decor. So, I can put some close to my bird and it will make the bird happy. Got a chair. What else can we make? An end table. Ooh, a log cabin table. A windmill. Okay, I'm gonna make these two things. Crafted. And the windmill. Can I not make the windmill? Am I not allowed to talk to him anymore? Is my inventory full? I guess I'll place the stuff that I made. bird is happy. We have more spirit bird essence. So that's three. I still need one more to craft. The uh, scout table. I wonder if I can put 
put stuff on the table. I should put a light here. That would connect these two things. That'd be pretty good, probably. Just need... Maybe I... I... <laughs> yes, I love when the burp is happy. I can't make a light yet. But I, I think I could buy one. What did I come here for? Oh yeah. There's a windmill. I want to make a windmill. imagine that the tree would get lost so close. She's not going to change color until I complete her quest. Oh, that was a... Oh. Her lamp is off because her thing is off. Let's see if I can buy a lamp. This was the other thing I have to buy. Okay. I guess I could sell some of these 25 mushrooms. Bye. What's this? Store upgrade catalog. That sounds expensive. Young forest bird. An avian ghost. Stop, breathe. Know that you exist within the tapestry of life in the forest. You are never alone. Okay. Likes pot of flower plant lamp bustling decor. Ooh. I want this bird. <laughs> I'm gonna get this bird. <laughs> How much is this bird? 5,000 old coins. Ooh, that's most of my money. Okay. How about this, how much is, 10 precious gems. That's good, I should be able to buy this lamp. I think I have 10 precious gems, or at least I can make them. I'm gonna buy this bird. <laughs> okay, I have the bird. Oh, critter net. Looks like I'll be able to catch the critters if I have that. This is spooky decor. Yes, I'm going to get the bird and I'm going to pet the bird. I'm also going to get the stone planter because I have a lot of quartz. Okay. I have spent all my money on the burb. I do not regret this decision. Uh, I can turn in my quest, but first I'm going to place the burb near the... near this lamp. Oh, I got an award for spending money. I didn't need that. I was going to do that anyway. But it gives me money, so that's nice. And I got an award for getting a second bird. Okay, I don't totally remember how to activate the burb here. Ah, uh, but it needs to be near the potted plant also, because it likes the potted plant. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pick up the potted plant. 
And we're gonna place down instead. This. Um, windmill? We're gonna place it better than that. We're gonna place it here. There. That's nice. Okay, now both birds... That bird's happy. Oop. And we're gonna take our potted plant -ter, and put it here. Not a lot of open ground here where I put this lamp. Okay, we're gonna rearrange some things. <laughs> Including the bird. <laughs> pick up. We're gonna pick up this lamp. Then we're gonna pick up this lamp. <laughs> bustling one. We're gonna put it here. No. We're gonna put it bustling here. There we go. That's good. <laughs> That's some good light. Then we're gonna take the bird. And put the bird here. And then we're gonna put the planter here. That's gonna make the bird happy. likes uncommon decor. So it just likes really ordinary items. Okay, we're gonna pick up the bird. We're actually gonna put the bird here. I don't know what the bird's like happiness radius is precisely. So I don't know if it's getting any benefit from like these other items. Like, if I take this table, and I put it, like, here. I don't think that benefits this bird. But it will appreciate this thing, I think. It's neutral on it. But we can pet it, it'll like that. What would I like to name it? Splut? Shartifast? Angus Myrtle? More names, maybe later. This was quite a, uh, this was quite a, a list of auto names that it generated. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to name it Myrtle. I like Myrtle. So I don't think we need to, uh, generate additional names, but wow. This was, uh, this was real lucky. Because <laughs> some of the names in here are very questionable. <laughs> We'll go with Myrtle. You're between Myrtle and Shardif Shardifast? <laughs> I don't, I don't, 
believe that I can... I'm okay with naming the bird Shardafast. <laughs> I'm confused by that, and... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I could be okay with that. But I do think it would be a great name for a, uh... A, uh, Stardew Valley, uh, creature. Ah, it looks like we have four bird ensigns now, so we can craft that thing I wanted to craft. Oh, and we- I have to place the light. We had placed it over here, but maybe instead of that, since we're, you know, moving stuff around anyway, I place it over here and see if we can connect these two areas. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I would say Great Stardew Valley pet name. Let's turn in this quest. You look wonderful. I can't wait to see how the denizens at Cozy Grove react to you now. The trick or treat activity is now enabled. Oh! Okay. I got Spirit Imp Essence and a pumpkin. It looks like my crafting is able to access stuff from my storage, so that's neat. So we wanted to make some like gemstones. Which we can make out of quartz and that will let me buy the, I think it was a fancy lamp that I wanted. Trick or treat. Trick or treat, you say? You're leaving it up to me? Well, here you go. I hope it's everything you wanted. I got two spooky rotten eggs. Semi precious gem, precious gem. Noble jewel and a roll. Okay, so we need, I think, 10 precious gems. So we're gonna craft just like a lot of these. <laughs> Let's do 20. That seems like a reasonable number. Sounds great. Here's some materials. Okay, and now we're gonna craft. We're gonna craft. Oh, I can only craft four of them. Wow. Okay. Okay. How many precious gems does that give me? Ten! That's what I needed, I think. Okay, so we'll go back and and try to buy the fancy lamp. Trick or treat. Squawk! We can't imagine a more perfect holiday for ye spirit scout. It fits ye like a barnacle on a boat. A dark, spooky barnacle. Looks like they're choosing trick. I think. Or maybe I'm supposed to get rotten eggs. Oh, I don't... Oh, this I'll donate. I don't know if I want to donate my pumpkin. I might want to use my pumpkin. coins, that's good. Because I spent all my money on a bird. <laughs> Trick or treat. Can you believe it? Trick or treat time is here already. Have this. Okay, so they're supposed to give me rotten eggs. Is this? No, this isn't the thing. This is part of this environment. <laughs> trick or treat. Gotta love a good old fashioned trick or treat. Get ready for a sweet treat. Special delivery. I don't know if I'd call rotten eggs a sweet treat, but the 
This seems to be what we're handing out. Myrtle was, yes, Myrtle was worth it. Most folks think dogs are the natural enemy of the postal worker. Not true. It's the cats. They mess with your mind. Okay, Patrice. We'll do a hug. Okay, I think we can machete through. Yep. I got more leaves. Is this... Could this be the tree? No. It's... Small, square-shaped, rootless tree with white leaves inside. I... I have no idea what I'm looking for. Is this... Oh, it's a lime tree. mess with your mind? Never. Oh! It... Why is this activated? Should I be going around shaking trees? Is that what the mission is? Oh, I see. It was just directing me to the person who hadn't triggered treated yet. It had nothing to do with my quest. <laughs> ah, what a surprise. How delightful. This deserves a special treat. Oh, I got candy corn. That means everyone else was tricking me and giving me rotten eggs when they could have been giving me candy corn. <laughs> that is extremely rude. This island is populated with very rude spirits. <laughs> Although I guess I did offer them the option to trick or treat. White leaves. Oh. This little thing is looking for a mushroom. Which I think I have in my inventory again. Right? You wanted a mushroom, right? Maybe I hallucinated that. Got a turnip. Did not want a mushroom? Alright. I'll keep my mushrooms. Where is this square tree? I need, like, is there something that will... Oh. Craft Scout fundraiser table. That's a quest. I can do that. I think I have to go to the crafting thing. But is there, like, a way to get a hint? Because I... I don't feel like I'm getting it done. I'm missing something. Okay. I wanted to buy this fancy lamp. Buy for 10 precious gems. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna... Well, it's 
not something like really obvious, right? I mean, it probably is something kind of obvious. Okay, I want to craft this thingy. Craft the Scout Fundraiser Table, Branch, Softwood, Four Spirit, Four Destinances. Sounds great. Crafted. Now what do I do? Do I have a do I turn in the quest? No, I I guess I'll put it down somewhere. Let's see what happens. Let's pick this up. Oh. The burb needs it. Okay, and then we're gonna Oh, it's uncommon and fun. Okay, so we're gonna take this table and place it back here. And then, well, not here exactly. Uh, this is good. Yeah. Then we're gonna take this uncommon fun table and we're gonna put it over here away from the other bird because this bird doesn't like uncommon decor I think this is still good uncommon fun and scout okay so since I have really no idea what Kafka could possibly be <laughs> I don't think he's a, like a bear. Oh! Oh! It's a book! It's a book? It was a book? <laughs> there you are, Kafka. Kafka here is a very special tree. I guess... I guess a book is a tree? In a sense? She used to look different. Taller trunk, wider branches, but change is unavoidable. Kafka knows that well, don't you, girl? Kafka's a bit of an introvert. Anyway, we embrace change here in my woods. In fact, if you bring me an item, I might be able to change it for you. I call it recycling. Cycling back into something new and vital. Try it out sometime. Kafka was a book. A book. It was rectangular. And the inside was filled with white leaves. And named for the author. Yeah, so... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it changed. It, it went through a uh, metamorphosis, if you will. I that's gonna that that one's gonna last. That's that one's gonna leave a mark on me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. What the other thing I was supposed to do was I'm I'm supposed to be fishing, right? Yeah. Let's, let's fish. <laughs> While I recover from that. <laughs> Surprised there wasn't a cockroach pun in there somewhere, yeah. actual fish this time it looks like it was yes it's uncommon that's good we need three uncommon fish Is there another clam I don't know what to do with the clams 
I might not have the right, like, fishing rod for them. Oh, well, here's a ton of fish. A meta what? <laughs> a dead gar. But how did I catch a fish that was already dead? Long neck eel. That's very clearly a seahorse, but sure. We'll be long neck eel. Oh no, is my inventory full? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna discard these mushrooms and pick up the long neck eel, which is uncommon, so that's good. I gotta put some stuff in my uh, inventory. That's probably what I should have used my money on instead of the bird, but I can't really bring myself to regret picking up Myrtle. <laughs> 10,000 old coins! No thanks, I've changed my mind. <laughs> I need to get a lot more money. <laughs> More! Just one final log and I'm full. I see someone has logged you to give you if you can help them. Yes, well, I'm trying, Flamey. Okay. Uh, in storage, we're gonna put this. Some glum dum ate a plum drum. Now they've got a plum bum. Don't need to collect your reward. We'll do that. Delicious and almost amazingly, Allison's potato cake. I'm gonna put all these vegetables in here. Oh! A skipping stone. Skips up to five times when thrown with sufficient force. Hit a clam with more skips to get better rewards. Okay. So we're going to throw skipping stones at the clams. That's what we're doing there. This I can put in here. We're going to donate this. We're going to keep the pumpkin, though. Oh, produces a new collectible. Likes legendary epic fruit tree. I okay, so I can plant the two fruit trees I have next to each other and they'll like that. Decoration rare lamp, cozy decor cottage. Legendary epic fruit tree lamp. Natural decor. Okay, so they they'll like the lamp. Because it's a lamp. Yay! I caught a dead fish. I know, right? <laughs> Hi, Sean. <laughs> I don't know how I caught a fish that was already dead. I agree, Mary. I love Myrtle. Myrtle was worth it. Okay. I can access my uh, items when crafting from here. So when set in a circle can lure fairies and imps. Don't need to collections for reward. I think I will. Okay. So two things to donate to collections, and then we should have plenty of room to pick up more fish for our sailor friend. Oh, and I guess we can collect our badges and get some more money, maybe. We've done 20 crests. We get some quartz, which we can use to make gemstones, and sometimes to buy things. How's it going, John? Sallow cheek. Again, <laughs> it looks like a uh, seahorse, but I'll take their word for it. A 
an alewife, which I believe is a fish and not a shrimp. timing. I didn't get the fish. Let's turn in our collectibles. Ten quartz gemstones! Okay, so this is a common fish. This one's a rare fish, so we're not going to donate it. But it's not what he wants. He actually wants uncommon, I think. But, oh, you can donate multiple things at a time. That's good to know. I don't feel like I know enough about fish to fight the art department. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all these things. So many new specimens. Shall we add them to correct the collection? Yes. Okay. 800 gold coins. That's good. 800 more coins. That's good. We need the money. Common fish. So, actually, factually, this rare fish, the sallow cheek, is not helping me complete this quest, but this uncommon long neck eel is. Okay, so we're gonna donate the sallow cheek. Okay. What do I get for this? Ooh, three, does that say 3,000 gold coins and 15 quartz gemstones? Hey! Nice! We're halfway to getting a, a upgrade for our tent. Sissy wanted down from the top of the cat tree, but Calvin was laying out on the shelf right below her. Gotta get my skipping stone. Let me start with the common skipping I'm gonna mess this up, probably. She was unsure what to do. It took her a minute to work it out. Aww. Am I, do I have to hit the clam with the skipping stone? Because that's going to be difficult. Let's try this. Two. Ah! Oh, it just threw money at me. I like that. Try this fish. And what I mean by that is Calvin finally decided to move because he didn't want to get smashed. <laughs> Aww. So he just saw the way that uh, I caught a fish that was already dead. He just saw the way things were going and decided he should get out of the way. Alright. One, two, okay. 
hang out a wooden log somehow. That's interesting. How's Sydney doing, John? Another dead gar. And the, the worst thing is that I'm so excited about it. I'm like, yeah, dead gar, why? Calvin is a smart boy like that, yes. Clearly, clearly. New toys and litter boxes. Three out of the four items have arrived. Apparently, my aim is too good and I keep hitting it on one skip. I'm supposed to try to get more skips. Ooh, there's some fish over here. Maybe they'll be, you know, alive. boxes it is. Yeah, that is understandable. today. I got one more skip shot. This one's a pro skipping stone. Oh no, I missed! <gasps> oh, I missed with my pro stone. That's a shame. I think I have a way to construct additional um, skipping stones. So we'll have to try that. Oh. I scared it away. I grabbed it too early. I'm shaking from losing my stone. Well, I guess the alewife is better than the dead car. <laughs> but I have like half a dozen of them now. <laughs> and it's a dead car. <laughs> I also got them that Jackson Galaxy Feather one and a tetherball toy that hangs from the top of the door frame, but it's not a ball. It's a toy mouse that squeaks when it hits things. That sounds cute and fun. Oh, I got a sea a sallow cheek, which is actually too rare. <laughs> It's rarer than I need. But it's still cool. I'm excited about it. Because it's rare. And what's this? A oh, a sardine! That's good! That takes care of it. That's the last thing we needed to get. Alright, so we're gonna go turn this in. Seems like we also got a badge, probably for catching fish. Oh, 
it's for skipping stones, actually. Hit targets with skipping stones. Nice. Ten quartz gemstones. Susie loves the wand, and Calvin surprised me this morning when I caught him playing with the le tether mouse. Aww, but then he got scared when he saw me watching him run away. Aww, he's shy. Ah, at last, a three-course meal. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Have you ever tried snapping a rare fish in your beak and letting it slide down your gullet? I don't have a beak, so no, Captain Bill Weather, I have not tried that. My inner bird thanks you, young sailor. You've set me right. Yay. Now he's... I got my last spirit wood. And he's turned not so ghostly and his little areas in color so that's good nice for him to have his little area in color there's also probably should be some shells for me to pick up around here oh a smooth hairy triton I guess I can turn in, I should see, now that I've turned in my quest. Okay, I don't care anymore. So I might often ask for fish, little so castaway, but before you get too annoyed, just be thankful I don't have a taste for weevils. Ah, uh, that would be weird. I would not want to have to collect those. Here's a log for you. Flamey! Wonderful, my flame is roaring. And there's an odor wafting in from beyond. Is that fresh baked bread? Ha, huh, usually such an irresistible smell, but not this time. There are 12 lost souls still hidden on this island, and I think we just uncovered one more. Someone is logged in and can't be to help them. Okay. Oh, let's let's reevaluate what I am carrying in my storage. Okay, this one I can donate. And the rest I can sell. And I think the fish I'm going to burn. shell then we're gonna look for the new spirit because I think the island might have upgraded or there's a new spot filled out oh I didn't donate any fish bones so we'll donate that oh it's a rare and seasonal shell that's interesting and Donate this. Quartz. Nice. Okay, let's find this new spirit. Oh, wait. What was that? Oh, it's harvestable. Produced. Skipping stones. That's good. I needed that. What 
it's this. Walnuts and... Bloody Lime Tree. in for money. When a game gives you lemons, rejoice. My trees and I have decided we like you, little fauna. You have an arboreal quality. My friend Kipling found an unusual sheet stuck between his pages, er, leaves. When I saw it, I thought to myself, perhaps that belongs in, perhaps it belongs in that scout's forest. Please take it with my gratitude. She's giving me a, yep, a scout book page, but no one has asked me for the scout book yet. At least, I don't think they did. Maybe they didn't, I don't remember. Oh, this spirit would like a turnip. I have a turnip. I just have to go get it. From the turnip place. And that spirit wants a potato! Okay! We can do- uh, we can do vegetables. And the AO wives, too. It's a cute animation. There we go. Okay. Do I have the ability to craft Halloween things now? I need more pumpkins. I almost have enough spooky rotten eggs to craft whatever this is. I think I have to do this first so that I can get the critters and then I probably have to use the net to catch the critters actually. Interesting. Oh, I gotta stand here. I scared them. Stand here and then throw the potato. Just throw the potato at the spirit. Okay, now I can approach. And I got candy corn and spirit essence. Okay. one over here that wanted a turnip. Okay, well, we have a spirit to find, so I'm not going to wait around. Oh, was it up this way? Because we were looking up this way. Ah, this is the one that wants the turnip. Oh, 
always happy. Okay, now I can approach it. Okay, we got a skipping stone. Oh, it chose me a helpful guide to help me aim after I missed. Oh, no, it was not helpful. I guess it just showed me the last path. That was all my skipping stones. <laughs> Oh wow, they told me there was a new kid in town, but they didn't tell me you were so fashionable. <laughs> that outfit really brings out your eyes. <laughs> Thanks, it's a, it's a shark head costume. I'm Allison Fisher, your local baker bear, by the way. Pleased to meet you, bright eyes. It's not every day I get to meet a new Cozy Grove resident. I think we should celebrate with some red velvet cupcakes. What do you say? I say yes. Now let me see, where's my recipe book? Sheesh, it's gone missing again. Now I know what you're thinking. Come on, you're a baker, just improvise. Red velvet's a tricky mix though. I think the red comes from beets, but it might be ketchup. Uh, those are wrong. Sure, ketchup, let's go with that. Neither of those is correct. I am very concerned about the outcome of these cupcakes and she definitely needs a recipe. These skipping stones are going to be delightful, yes. <laughs> skipping stones are definitely challenging. Too bad I used my last bottle on yesterday's cherry pie. <laughs> If you find any red stuff lying around, let me know. I'll pay you back in delicious cupcakes. Oh god, I'm so concerned. It was close to a tall stump. Try checking the grass piles. So concerned. Trick or treat. I'm definitely on the treat side of the spectrum, right? I said to print him a lot of barnacle swirls and glassy taffy, though. Yay! I got rotten eggs. <laughs> Which is what I wanted. The ketchup is near a tall stump. Okay, well, the forest is full of stumps. But we'll see what we can do. Oh, this was just a hole in the ground that was filled with money. tall stump that like looks like a tree so it could be over there I was excited for the baker but no those are both wrong yes <laughs> yes I'm very concerned about the outcome of these cupcakes because none of those things are the correct ingredients none of them at all over here or maybe it was over here maybe I can connect these two zones it's our fancy camp oh it is fancy we did connect the light, so that's nice. Oh, this tree dropped some wood. No, no! That's right. There we go. No, not the wild walnut. Oh, it, that is the wild walnut tree. Okay. Oh, it's happy! I'm making it happy! <laughs> Wait, what is it like? Oh my god, did I decorate the wrong way? Is it, it likes cozy decor and lamps. Oh good, it really likes this lamp I put here because it's a cozy lamp. 
and it doesn't like spooky decor. Okay, as long as the trees are happy, then I'm happy. What's this? This is rustic decor. I don't know why it's here though. Was it here to make a tree happy? Let's pick it up. I'm gonna put it over here instead of the table because it's smaller. I don't like the table there, but I need more rustic decor for the bird. Yes, you're still at maximum hearts. Excellent. Now, where would it be good to put this table? <laughs> and maybe over here. What is, is that a hole? I'll put it over here. Yeah. That seems good. Okay, we're looking for ketchup, which was by a tall stump. So I think there's a tall stump up here. This is a leaf pile. That's a check in leaf piles. So now that I have 7,000 old coins, I might try to buy the net, which will allow me to catch the island critters. I have no idea what to do with them once I do that, though. So that should be interesting. But I very much want to interact with that. Ah! I found the ketchup! I, uh, there's another one. I think it was spotted near a skull tied to a stake. This must be the tall stump. But I actually thought this was going to be the tall stump. This weird, like, tree that looks like a bear. Okay, a skull tied to a stake. No. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look. Maybe I left one by a house. Have you looked at any stick piles? Look at all this beach. Ancient lamp. A relic of Forgotten Empire. It's mystical like keeps nature bay. It creates space for civilized construction. to a house in a stick pile. Yeah, the island has definitely gotten bigger. I need to figure out how to make more skipping stones. Because I can craft them. Um, so the postal bear has a house. Is this a stick pile? There, there we go. All right, so I found three bottles of ketchup that this uh, this very unusual bear is going to use to make um, red velvet cupcakes. You found some ketchup, way to go, Bright Eyes. While you were out looking, I tracked down my recipe book. It was under a stack of mystery novels. I can't believe how many mystery novels I read last year, ha. Anywho, I now know how to make red velvet cupcakes, but bad news, apparently the recipe calls for flour and sugar. And no ketchup. <laughs> I'll need to place a special order. But come back soon and I'll make you something delicious, okay? This bear really needs the recipe book. <laughs> but they gave me spirit wood. And their story advanced. And a, a red plum tree. Let's see what the red plum tree likes. And I might plant it right near here. We have some blood limes. Bloody lime tree. So we'll harvest that. Got a leaf pile here we can check out. Okay, we got a whole bakery zone here. My table is still nicely placed. Let's see what this tree likes. I should be planting the trees. Um, it likes legendary, epic and fruit trees and lamps and natural decor. So it doesn't particularly like anything that I have. But I will go ahead and plant it. Anyway. Can I move it? I can move it.
that's a good place for it. log for you. Gulp. Only seven more logs before I'm full. I don't sense any more logs out there today. You should check back tomorrow. Okay. Maybe it's like, you know, maybe it's like using soda and cake. Maybe it helps keep the cake moist. Yeah, but ketchup? The tomato flavor is... Ooh. I mean... Mm, yeah, I don't know. Like, soda at least is sweet and it's got, like, caramel flavors. That would be compatible, but... I, I don't know. I don't think I can get behind a ketchup cake. Okay, let's add this. Okay, we're gonna move some of the fruit into storage and we're gonna start planting these items. plants with opinions. I think that's all. Someone used tomatoes on Bake Off in a Cake and it apparently wasn't terrible. Hmm. I mean, I, I'm willing to accept that it's theoretically possible, but I don't know if, it, if it's okay in Red Velvet. That I don't think I can agree with. <laughs> But also, not terrible is not exactly an endorsement either. <laughs> Okay, being near other trees makes the trees happy. They also like being near lamps. I think those are new collectibles. Oh, I still have some flowers. I'm gonna put them over here. There's a lot of lamps in this area, so I think you're gonna like it. The flowers are picky, though. Okay, let's see. 
likes pot of flower plant lamp cozy decor. Okay. This likes pot of flower plant lamp. Okay. I need to find some cozy stuff to put here, but other than that, we're probably good. Uh, now I can turn in all of this stuff to my collectible pirate. Nice. Oh. Where I did change it because we're going to do it all at once. Yeah. Okay. So many new specimens. I got quartz. Ooh, 500 old coins and 500 old coins, great. And now we're gonna buy the net so that we can catch critters and then we're gonna see what catching critters is like. different spirit bird. We're not going to buy the spirit bird right now, but we'll probably buy the spirit bird next time. And now we're going to Sell. What's this? Red paw paw tree. Oh, it's 15,000 coins. Okay. I can buy these for bird essences. Interesting. I might actually be able to afford these. Oh! Hello! Is that, uh, Shmithulu? <laughs> Hello and welcome, Shmithulu. <laughs> and your rain. <laughs> We are playing Cozy Grove, which is um, just like a really relaxing, um, it's sort of like Animal Crossing and sort of like Spirit Fair, um, and you just kind of... <laughs> Hi, Lodgy Pineapple. Hello and welcome. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? Oh, I was going to sell in my shells. Oh, I can sell lots of things. That might be the solution to my mushroom problem. <laughs> Gotta learn how to sell more things at once. <laughs> I try. <laughs> I try to look at all the letters. <laughs> At least the pineapple was right. <laughs> hey, Shmithlulu. Um, I like it. I like it because it's a very chill game. Um, so it's, it's good for relaxing. Logies and Logi. It's, um, it's not a typical... We got some smart pineapple people around here. It's not a typical hidden object style game, which normally they create a very cluttered screen and then you have to pick out a bunch of different um, objects there. This lists itself as a hidden object puzzle, but actually they just hide stuff around the map and then you wander around the map and try to find them. Um, I don't know what the mechanic of Animal Crossing is like, but you collect these spirits and they come here and live on the island and then they, they have hearts that you gain with them and you're supposed to help them figure themselves out and then kind of move on. <laughs> I'm in the endgame moment and I hope you enjoyed as much as I said. Oh, great! 
Oh, yeah. I'm really liking it so far. So I actually picked this up because I've played a couple of other games by Spry Fox before. Um, I've had Triple Town on my phone for, like, I don't know, like, five or six years. And then recently I played Alpha Bear. And I really liked all of the different bears <laughs> that they made. So I was excited by the possibility of, of uh, encountering more of their bear designs. And, uh, yeah, I'm liking it so far. I haven't had to say goodbye to any spirits yet. I played Spirit Fair, and saying goodbye to the spirits of Spirit Fair is, like, really devastating. So I'm not sure if this game is, like, a little bit funnier, um, and it's not so, like, stabbed directly in the feels as, uh, as Spirit Fair. So I'm interested to see in what happens, see what happens when we start to actually resolve the spirits. But we just picked up the baker, who is, um, I forgot her name. Francesca is the nature one. We have the nature one. Um, but we picked up the baker one and she asked for ketchup, which was a questionable, uh, choice. Uh, but we, she found a recipe book and now hopefully she can make me cupcakes that are ed edible. I was here to make skipping stones, which I, oh, I need iron ingots. Okay, so first I have to make iron ingots. I, I left them in my... Okay, so they can't access the stuff I left in my... Uh, in my chest. Yes, I do love the bears. And I also really like the badges. I really enjoy earning the badges. I find that very satisfying because it's like a whole event every time. I have a couple badges to collect. And then I also like that it, it will tell you... It basically will tell you to stop, kind of. So, it's not uh, not an often game on the channel unless the wife streams. This is her account, but you wanted to stream for me today. Aww. It's, it's, a, it's a nice game. So, the other option today was I was going to play Grounded, but I knew if I played Grounded, then I would probably run over my time. Um, because I would keep wa wanting to do stuff. So, I like that this game is like, all right. You've done some quests, you've had some fun, you can wrap up some mini games and some crafting, but we're not gonna keep throwing stuff at you because we want you to have, like, have balance. So I like that element of it. Okay, what else we got? Uh, Arboriculturist. Ah, this is because we planted the fruit trees. I'm Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Hi, I'm the wife. The, oh, the switch to council time is weird. Yeah, so I, yeah, so we actually, me and Mary both stream from this account. Um, so today I stream, and then Tuesday, uh, MG Puppo is going to stream here instead. So, yeah, there's some, sometimes there's some wobbliness because we switch off. A little dry on launch, been meaning to get back to it. Yeah, so I went back to it this weekend because they added some new stuff. There's a boss spider fight, and they added, like, mosquitoes, and also they have more um, story elements. And they also enhance, like, the leveling stuff. So now when you research things, the you gain levels in, like, in, I don't know, smartness. Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not explaining this well, but you get, like, um, knowledge levels. That you gain and then that unlocks new recipes so that's kind of cool um and they've also filled in the yard a lot so there's a lot more different kinds of bugs so that's neat uh but i knew i knew that um i would definitely get wrapped up like trying to make my way across the yard and get distracted by like half a dozen things and then probably not accomplish my objective <laughs> so i went with uh i went with cozy growth because it's like Here's the right amount, and then you can stop. I saw bees and a fish at some point. I haven't encountered the fish yet, but I'm a little afraid. Uh, I Every time I swim now, I'm like, oh god, is this where the fish is? <laughs> They've added birds, and I saw the bees. I think I heard something about mosquitoes and de Yeah, so the mosquitoes, those I encountered, they I found them to be a good challenge. So I, I'm not very good at combat, so I get killed very easily by the spiders. Um very easily <laughs> but the, mis the mosquitoes were challenging but i was able to take them out with my acorn armor um and the D, D minis apparently they have like an entire like 
Dwarven Forge like dungeon setup on a map that somebody left on a picnic table. And then you, I guess you can wander around inside it and like you're the mini. But I haven't found the picnic table yet, so I'm not sure where it is. But I did see the screenshot with it, so I was excited about that. But yeah, it was good. I I I had I was able to get back to my save. Thankfully, my save wasn't like damaged, um, which was good because I built like a pretty major base, so it would have been kind of devastating if I lost it, which I probably will at some point since it's technically in beta. But I started creating like a bunch of hidey holes to make my way across the yard um, instead of just having like one base because the yard is so big. Uh, I don't like to run around at night because I'm bad at killing the spiders. So that strategy is working out for me now. Oh, um, so we we play D&D. &D. We have a weekly game. Um, I, maybe. <laughs> We, we all play D&D &D on this. So we're actually, there's four of us. Only two of us really stream right now. It's me and MG Puppo. But uh, my husband, who we used to stream here a little bit, he's our GM. Um, and he ran a Ten Candles campaign on stream last Halloween. Um, and that was pretty cool. So, uh, but I don't think we have... Oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you both for the follow. Um, I, don't, I don't think we have anything planned... For this Halloween yet, but that might be something that uh, we're interested in on the just sort of generally as a channel. <laughs> um, yeah, we have a we have a Discord if you want to hop in and talk details. I think um, <laughs> Mary, do you know you you know do you know the link for the Discord? Is it like exclamation point Discord? I'm gonna try it. Hey, it worked. Yeah, so I usually stream. Well, I, I mean, I usually stream here, but my other, my personal account is Kavini Comics, so that's how I'll show up in chat, and um, that's how I show up in the Discord. <laughs> as far as I know, we don't have any plans. Uh, work has been really something lately, <laughs> so that's probably why. Um, but. It was, it was really cool when we did it last year. But yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think, I don't think Mark is planning anything major for this Halloween. Yeah, we're fans of D&D here. In fact, um, <laughs> MG has a, uh, her Stardew stream, I think is with one of her D&D characters sure on 10 candles I heard it. yeah we haven't we have not thought about it at all but it, uh, and it's the 24th so if we are gonna think about it it would have to happen very soon <laughs> I've completely forgotten what I was doing yeah it was it was fun I had a lot of fun with that we had uh, mark had all the candles so um, what did I, oh, I came in here for iron ore because I was going to make it into ingots, which I also have. Okay. Uh, I was going to turn it over here. I think Mark might actually be playing grounded right now if he's working on his campaign. My poor little neglected starchy streams. <laughs> yeah, so... The the plot line is that your rogue has ceased adventuring and they've decided to settle down on a farm. And then, who are you going for? Are you going for Sebastian in that save? I have a question for you both. <laughs> Shmithulu and... <laughs> Logic pineapple <laughs> and that is do um so mostly i stream at around the same time but does this game change if you log in at different times of the day like would i see different creatures or or spirits if i show up like in the morning i want to craft ingots oh that's a silver i want 
an iron ingot? Do I not? Okay. Mostly I can craft skipping stones. But then, how do I... How do I craft the iron ingots? Hmm. Oh! I bet I have to throw them in the fire first. That would make sense. That's right. Ah, Kaliusev and Athene with Penny. Ha ha ha, you're back. You're back on the correct accounts. I want to burn this. Ha ha, neglect the Stardew Valley trees, how dare. <laughs> I go through cycles with Stardew Valley where sometimes I can't stop playing it and then then I have to take a break. Okay, so we made the iron ingots. Now we're gonna go back over here. Okay. That's craft. Uh skipping stone. And that's what I came here to do. I can craft one skipping stone, and I'm probably gonna miss, but we're gonna try it anyway. Okay, I need to get more iron ingots by uh, finding little rock nodes. area might be the one that gets raised next. Interesting. Yeah, so if you get a follow later from Caffeine Comics, that's that's me, but it's like my actual account. <laughs> figuring out. <laughs> I'm going to need to find a lot more iron because I'm going to need to practice this. I definitely understand the back and forth relationship with Stardew. I got it for my wife offhandedly and I lost her to it probably close to 1,000 hours stretch over a few different platforms. We're working on the same farm for over a year and we get to on together from time to time. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I got it for my iPad and for a while it was like really fun to play on like a bed or couch type area. But then I got thrown off it because they released 1.5 on the desktop before they released it on the iPad and then I was playing it on the desktop and the iPad and then I got a little burnt out on it. The co-op is really cool. It's really cool to have a farm together. Let's see if I can find more nodes. I have 835 hours to start New Valley myself, yes. <laughs> Not to brag, but I mean, I guess I can tell you. Oh, wow. Okay, so I, I'm just a casual because I only have 329 hours on the desktop, but I have extra hours on the iPad, so I feel like that counts. I'm so excited to learn. I know he's making the game, the Chocolatier game. That sounds really exciting. And I really liked it because it seemed like it had the same like art style and engine as Stardew, but you get to do a different thing, so I'm excited to see about that. She's pushing me off to bed for a letter, Kenny. You guys have a great night. Enjoy the rest of the stream, and I hope you continue to enjoy the game. Thank you so much! And yeah, I'm gonna keep playing it because it's been really fun so far. Thanks so much for the raid and for the follow. Uh, and definitely hit us up in the Discord if you want to coordinate some kind of D&D &D situation. I found a, what is this? It's a sweet potato. It's either a brag or a cry for help. Interpret it how you will. I, I think it's probably best if we don't read how many hours I've dropped into the Sims for. So far, 
one of the best parts of streaming this game is that we've actually just accumulated like really nice new people. <laughs> Everyone who's come into chat on this game has been seems really super nice. <laughs> I also really like the music on this game. I don't know if you guys could hear the music, but it's very relaxing. Oh, this is a shell. What about this? Is this a shell? No, this is not a shell. Is this a shell? I can't tell the difference between the shells and like the background features of the beach. I'm basically just scrounging for ingots at this point. If we run out of ingots, then uh, I'll probably call it a night. Cozy games have vibes. Yes. Yeah, the music is good. It actually reminds me of... Um, um, I'm looking it up because I... Outer Wilds. Uh, the, not this, this music that's playing right now, but there's a, another theme... The, the theme that it opens with reminds me of the theme from Outer Wilds, and I actually bought Outer Wilds basically on the entire strength of the soundtrack, and then actually found out I couldn't play it. <laughs> but, so I, I, I'm really happy that, uh, I'm really happy with the music. <laughs> oh, I, oh. Okay, I, I have enough, um, Raw eggs to get this thing. Use to summon some spooky critters. Okay. And now I'm gonna use my net to capture them. Although I haven't used the scroll to summon them. Let's practice on some non spooky critters and see what happens when we try to catch something. <laughs> I did not make it past this tutorial on Outer Wilds. I'm like, okay, I understand what I'm supposed to do, but I do not have the dexterity to do it. Oh, there's a coin over here. All these imps are talking to each other. So there's little critters around, and we were trying to figure out what to do with them last time, and I think what I can do with them is catch them in the net. But then after I catch them, I don't know what happens, so let's find out. Uh... Oh, that's one. I bet that ladybug is one. Okay, so now I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Catch it? Catch it? Oh! I got it! A hardened suffragette? Okay, I have this in my inventory now. I'm obviously going to give it to... The pirate captain. Let's dig. Maybe we'll get some more. Okay, so I found Ladybug. Oh, there's just a pile of money under there. I love holes filled with money. <laughs> okay. No critters here. There's like a little narwhal looking creature. try catching the ladybug again and see if it's the same thing. Oh, did I miss it? How did I miss? That one I caught. Okay, so it's the same each time I catch it. Unlike the fish, which are different. Here we go. Okay, so we'll turn this in. Is that the space game where the computer AI sasses you? I don't know, because I didn't make it out of the tutorial. This is the space game where you play the banjo in front of a fire? Oh, I guess I could donate an ingot too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We'll do it all at once. We'll do it all together. I'll be better at this. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, I got a thousand coins for that. And six quartz gemstones. That's cool. And for this I get coins. do with this. It's 
uncommon. It's a fall critter. Was I getting summer critters before? I feel like it might leave most. I feel like it might be, but I mostly remember a sassy computer and thinking we were in the Firefly world. Interesting. Okay. Alright, I think that we've done everything that we can do tonight in here. So, I think this is, I think it's time to pet the dog. <laughs> hey, thank you for obliging, Luke. What a good boy. So, we'll pet Luke and do our wrap-up. Thank you for joining me at Cozy Grove. It's been fun. And uh, I'm very happy about the birds that we collected. <laughs> I'm looking forward to collecting additional birds and other creatures. And for seeing what's going on with the spirits. And finding potatoes. <laughs> uh, our next stream is Tuesday. And that is probably going to be Berry Challenge. Yeah, he's a good boy. Aren't you a good boy? Yes, you're a very good boy. So, uh, have a great night. And, <laughs> yes, I'm petting. Yes, we're petting the critter. Yes, we're petting the critter, Luke. That's you. You're the critter. So, have a great night. And have a great week. And until we see you next, stay super. Barrier star, do you? Ooh, it's kind of early, so we could raid. I think we're probably good. Good night. Good night. <laughs> oh wait, my chat's on delay. Do you want to? Do you want to go to bed or do you want to raid? Now I have to wait for the answer because <laughs> of the delay. No, it's because you're a good boy. I would stick around so I think probably it's better to end the stream so we'll do that but we'll get some good Luke pets in before we end the stream oh you got a, you got your cuddle head you trying to cuddle he's leaning on my shoulder because he's sleepy are you a sleepy boy <laughs> We go. We got our second pet, the critter. You good boy. Okay. All right. So, so we'll sign off. <laughs>
have a good night for real. I'm gonna go, yeah, it, yes, it's been a week. We'll go ahead and end the stream. Me and Luke, here. <laughs> and uh, I'm just, I'm gonna call it before I, before I ramble further. <laughs> good night, folks. <laughs>